Hello YouTube, how you doing today? Uh, I'm doing pretty well. So, this is a game called Antenna. Anyways, uh, I was on Steam. Wow, this is... Okay then. Okay, sorry. Uh, so this is a game I saw on Steam. It was recommended to me. And it's just called Antenna. And I didn't really look too for, too closely into what it is. Apparently, it was described as uh, on the st on the Steam page. It described it as being like a melancholic journey of like a robot in the world trying to find someone. I don't know exactly if that's true, or if I am misremembering, or if I was misrepresented to. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I do vaguely remember that being the case, being, um, I, I, I'm a robot, or some, something like that. And, uh... Okay. I guess that's me. Uh, but I did see that this game is in fact free. And you know me, uh, I'm a cheapskate. And the instant they, I was told that it was free, uh, I immediately downloaded it. Because I thought, like, uh, you know, it might be interesting to play. Because, like I said, it's it's a melancholic journey of loneliness, isolation, and uh, just looking for somebody. So, yeah. I also really like this art style. And, yeah, we'll just see what, what this is. Don't have enough battery power? I guess I have to find uh, some stronger Wi Fi signals before we can investigate whatever that was. Interesting. Okay then. So I guess we're going back up. So yeah, I really. I don't know what's going on. This kind of reminds me a little bit of like Wally. The Pixar movie Wally of a robot isolated on Earth after all the humans fucked off. Uh, and so he's just doing his job, which is, con you know, compacting trash. And I kind of feel... I'm getting a similar kind of vibe of, like, we're playing a robot that is some sort of radio communications robot. And, uh, there ain't humans anywhere. And so we're just, like I said, just looking for somebody. Anybody. I really like this art style, like in the background, like the... that valley or whatever. Alright, what do I do? Okay. 
Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're just moving on. Ooh. Oh. I'm recharging my batteries? Or perhaps I'm implanting my charge into these batteries. Shift. Okay then, I, I've increased my Wi-Fi signal. I guess now we can go down the down to that mine shaft and uh, investigate. This game also reminds me of Limbo. Uh, if you're familiar with Limbo, uh, really interesting like puzzle platformer. Very similar, like just black and white graphics. Uh, I, I forget what it's called. Shadow. It's like whenever you almost like shadow puppetry. I know it's got a better name than shadow puppetry. I, I, puppetry. I just can't think of it right now. It's like Shadow Form, maybe, or something like that. But it's uh, basically using just like monochrome, like black figures over like a, a monochrome background to create, of course, depth and such. And Limbo and this game is all about that, it's just using like just black with a few highlights to show. Um, to show, um, you know, what's happening. And. Limbo's really good and very off-putting and scary and very creepy, has a very creepy vibe because you're playing as a child the whole time. And that child can and will die in very awful ways, uh, sometimes due to uh, giant spiders and traps and... I'm trying to match the pitch, I think. Oh, I'm going. So the first time we're going up. Yeah, it's still too high pitched. Oh, did I get it? Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I like these little puzzles of like matching sound and tones and finding the correct pitch. It's very interesting. I also like our little robot's design. Little spider robot. spell anything with these? T-H... Ah, shit. Oh, you have to use all of them. Thug life! Thug B. Ugh. Ty B. Hate Tyler B. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Um. Whoops. Oh, I guess once I'm here, I'm here. Uh, we're gonna have to figure this out. B. Y. Bye. Thug. Um. Hugs. By T. Hugs by T, the name of my uh, special cafe I'm gonna open. Where a large men named Tyrone just hug you to make you feel better. Yub. Thug. Thug. No, I already did. Wait. Okay, so you don't have to use each one. Thug. Th. Alright. Shit. Um. Fuck. I have no idea, man. Uh. Like, I don't have any clues. There's so many options. It's a little ridiculous to think that I could just figure this out, right? Like, am I just stupid for not realizing what I'm supposed to be doing? No, okay, okay. No, I am stupid. This game's all about tone and sound and pitch. Obviously, I'm supposed to... I'm going to pump up my volume a little bit. I'm going to try and figure out which tones sound the same. What from me, game? For fuck's sake. Okay. I just had to make a pattern, I guess. So there's less about tones and more about pattern. Whatever. I gotta question it. It's in case. music. I actually really like this music. I kind of don't want to um, switch out of it. But I know I have to. Bravo, Delta, Alpha, Frost, Foxtrot. BDAF. Interesting. I can't. I think he's speaking a language I, I don't speak. Somebody's trying to dial up to the internet there. Oh, 
Yeah, that's definitely a language I don't speak. It sounds like an EKG, like a heartbeat sensor, or a monitor for like a hospital. Oh. Um. I guess that's it. So, huh? So I'm trying to think of what that what what could have been said. Obviously, this is like an artsy game. Um, yeah, man, we're like a robot searching for signals, trying to boost our own signal, and the game just auto quit. Uh. Yeah, I guess, like, it's a game that, like, we're trying to boost our own signal, uh, like, the robot. Uh, we're trying to boost our own signal, trying to make a connection to somebody. Uh, I mean, obviously at the end, there were looped radio broadcasts from people, from human beings. Uh, no telling if they're still alive or not, but obviously they were looped. At least, like, the English was looped. Just, uh, Alpha, Delta, Foxtrot, uh, Bravo, I think. But yeah, just like those letters over and over again. Uh, the other languages I couldn't tell, I'm not familiar enough with whatever languages they were, to identify whether or not it was looping or if I was listening to the same thing, because honestly, I only speak English, uh, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, like, I guess we're looking for someone out there and just... Finding no one. Finding only the remnants of, of civilization, of humanity. The people that made us. The people that uh, built us. Gave us this mission of being a radio robot. So yeah. That's really interesting. And... I don't think I fully understand it. Other than it's supposed to be, you know, walking through a lonely world looking for someone else and not finding them. I guess. But I guess with, uh, with art, right? I'm gonna get really pretentious on you right now. With art, I guess, it's all about your own interpretation, right? You know? Like, when it comes to actual art, there's no right or wrong answer what it's about, right? It's, it's what you get out of it. So, I don't know. It's, it's a very pretty game. I really do like it. Visually. Uh, it's very short, obviously, but, yeah, like, that was enjoyable. I liked the, the the simple little puzzles. That last puzzle was kind of a bitch, but whatever, I kind of fumbled my way through it. But, um, yeah, I did enjoy that game. I like its puzzles. I like matching the tones and finding the correct frequency and, and like, the little robot's fun. I don't like his design. Fun. I don't know what that means. He's not fun. Yeah, he is fun. Anyways, I like his design. I like his little spider limb design with his little lights. And it's just interesting that this robot's going around searching for Wi-Fi signals, man. Because even in the uh, even in the post-apocalyptic future, you gotta figure out what's trending on the on the Twitters, right? So hey, uh, thanks for coming along. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully it uh, you know, kept your interest and made you think. It's making me think a little bit. It's, you know, it's not mind blowing, but it is. It is cool. Maybe that was a cool little game. I hope that guy makes some more stuff for that person. Don't know if it's a man or not. 
I uh, hope this person makes some more games. Maybe a little bit longer, a little bit more substance to them, but uh, I like that art direction a lot. Uh, I like what he's doing. So, uh, hey. Thanks for coming along. Have a nice night. Maybe subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, leave a like, whatever you want to do. You know, I appreciate it always. I love comments, I love talking to people. But uh, hey, you have a good night. You know, if it made you think, cool. If it didn't make you think, that's fine too. Bye-bye.